in this class we will solve this problem which is on transmission line. Now let us try to understand this problem first. It has been given that uh, there is a 3 meter long lossless air filled transmission line. Okay. So basically we it has been given that a 3 meter long lossless transmission line. The characteristic impedance of that is 120 pi okay. and which is terminated by a short circuit. Okay. So what you can see that there is a 3 meter long lossless transmission line and it is being terminated to a short circuit. Though in the question they have not mentioned what would be the value of ZL right, but we know that for a short circuit what will be the value of ZL okay, we will we'll come to that. And it is being excited the circuit has been excited with a frequency of 37.5 megahertz right. So, this that they have already said like the circuit is being excited with 37.5 megahertz of frequency right. They are asking us what is the nature of input impedance. It means if I look from here which is nothing but here what is the nature of the input impedance. Now, if you look at the options it is being some options are there open, short, inductive and capacitive. We will solve this and we will conclude what would be the nature of this input impedance. Okay. The first thing we will do that they have said it is an short circuit right. So, what will be the value of ZL if it is a short circuit? The value of ZL would be 0 right. We know that for a short circuit the impedance would be 0 right. Okay. No, we also know that for a short circuit what is an input impedance? We have already solved this in the previous videos right. The input impedance for short circuit is what? How much? It is nothing but J Z naught tan beta. This we all know that this we have covered in the previous videos right. Okay. Let us substitute the values. Okay. So, Z naught is 120 pi. Okay. So, it would be J 120 pi tan beta is how much? Beta would be nothing but your 2 pi by lambda right. The length is nothing but 3 meter which is nothing but here it is being mentioned. Now, in order to proceed this I need the lambda. I do not have a lambda here right. So, what I am going to do is I am going to quickly find it out what would be the lambda in this case because already they gave me the frequency right. Okay. So, what would be the lambda? We know that f is c by lambda right. So, the lambda would be nothing but c by f right. Sorry, it would be c by f. it would be c by f and what is c? c is nothing but 3 into 10 power 8 by f is given as 37.5. So, it comes out to be 37.5, 37.5 into 10 to the power 6 mega. If I solve this, I will get lambda as 8 meter. So, I got the lambda now. So, I got lambda, I can substitute the lambda here right. So, I can proceed saying that j 120 pi tan 2 pi by 8 into 3. If I solve further it will become j 120 pi tan this will become 3 pi by 4 right. Now, what is tan 3 pi by 4? This comes out to be minus j 120 pi, right. We know that tan 3 pi by 4 it is nothing but minus 1, right. So, this comes out to be minus j 120 pi, right. And this is what is my input impedance, right. This is what is called as your input impedance, right. So, I find it out the input impedance is minus j 120 pi. Now, just recall your ne network analysis, right. Now, when you have an inductor, what is the impedance that it could offer? It would be nothing but j omega l, right. But when you have a capacitor, the impedance will be nothing but 1 by j omega c, right. So, the j will be in the denominator part. When you take it up, it will become minus j by omega c, right. Now, if you observe, it is minus j, right. The nature of the input impedance has minus j. So, for sure, it is not inductive. The answer to this question is capacitive. 
so the nature of input impedance is capacitive so we have concluded the nature of input impedance